Namaste everyone. Welcome to the class. Now here in this exercise, exercise 13.2, we are going to solve problems based on surface areas of cylinder. Okay. So let us first uh, discuss a concept first. Means th this is how your cylinder looks like. Now sometime you will find it is written that a right circular cylinder. Now what you mean by right circular cylinder? Right circular cylinder, it is your cylinder only. When I'm saying right circular cylinder, that means the base of the cylinder is perpendicular to the height. Okay, so when you put the cylinder on the ground, it will it will stand vertically, right? So the cylinder which we are discussing is right circular cylinder only. Okay. Now, in this right circular cylinder, this top area and this bottom area, they are flat. They are circular in shape, but they are flat. So, if you see the area of this top part, it will be pi r square. The bottom is also pi r square. And if you see this side area, it is curved in shape and its area will be 2 pi r h. Now this 2 pi r is what? It is the circumference of this base. When we multiply it with height, we will get this curved surface area. So this 2 pi r h is curved surface area. This top and bottom is plane surface area. So when you are asked to find curved surface area that is SC, you use the formula 2 pi r h. And when it is asked to find total surface area, it is 2 pi r h that is curved surface area plus 2 flat surfaces that is 2 pi r square. You can take this 2 pi r common and you can write r plus h or s plus r. This is your total surface area. So let us begin with the problem. First problem, the curved surface area of right circular cylinder of height 14 centimeter is 88 centimeter square. Find the diameter of the base of the cylinder. So uh, in solution, I will write given. What is given? For the curved, uh, the curved surface area of right circular cylinder of height, height is given. 14 centimeter curved surface area is given SC is given 88 centimeter square we have to find diameter find the diameter of the base of the cylinder okay this is given this is to find now solution we know that uh, curved surface area SC is equals to 2 pi r h so therefore SC in place of SC, I will put its value which is 88. Therefore, 88 is equal to 2 pi is 22 upon 7. R we don't know, H is 14. So, this 7 and the 7, 7 to the 14. So, this will give you the value of R as 88 divided by 2 into 22 into 2. Now, 22 for the 88. And this 2 to the 4. So I will get radius as 1. Therefore, diameter is 2 centimeter. We have to find diameter. The diameter of the base of the cylinder is 2 centimeter. So therefore, I will write. Therefore, diameter of the base of cylinder. is equals to 2 centimeter okay second question it is required to make a closed cylindrical cylinder tank of height 1 meter and the base diameter 140 centimeter from a metal sheet how many square meter of the sheet are required for the same it is required to make a closed cylindrical tank now when it is required to make a closed cylindrical tank that means i have to find total surface area how many square meter of the sheet is required right so given if you see what is given height is given 1 meter base diameter is given 140 centimeter this implies that radius is given 70 centimeter is equals to 0 0.7 meter okay when area is required in meter square so better convert everything in meter and we have to find st i will say total surface area 
solution we put the formula of st st is 2 pi r in bracket r plus h which will be 2 into 22 upon 7 into the value of r is 0 0.7 into r is 0 0.7 plus h is 1 so this total surface area is this 7 will cancel i will get 0 0.1 so this is 4.4 2 into 22 is 44 44 into 0 0.1 is 4.4 into this is 1.7 now 17 for the 68 8 you will write 6 carry 17 for the 68 68 plus 6 so 8 plus 6 14 and this is 7 right so 74.8 again just cross check 6 carry 6 plus right 74.8 this will be meter square this is my total surface area st so how many square meter of the sheet are required for the same so i will say 74.8 square meter of the sheet is required third question a metal pipe is 77 centimeter long uh, the inner diameter of the cross section is 4, cen 4 cm, the outer is 4.4 cm. Find the inner curved surface area, outer curved surface area, and total surface area. Now I have a pipe. So let us consider this as a pipe. Now this pipe is something like this it has outer area outer curved surface area and inner curved surface area all right this is this this, this is how your pipe looks like so when, when when you see from here you will get one circle here one circle here okay so we have to find inner curved surface area now um, the height is given this you can say length or height this is 77 centimeter then inner diameter diameter inner diameter is given this inner diameter inner diameter is 4 centimeter this outer diameter is 4.4 centimeter okay i have to find inner curve surface area so i will write given h is equals to 77 centimeter d1 inner di i will say di inner is 4 centimeter so therefore radius i is 2 centimeter outer diameter do is 4.4 centimeter so therefore radius outer is 2.2 centimeter this is given and what to find to find we have to find curved surface area inner, curved surface area outer, and total surface area ST. Okay. Now here curved surface area inner SCI is equals to 2 pi RI into H is equals to 2 into 22 divided by 7 into 2 into h is 77 h is 77 okay so this 7 11 the now 2 into 22 into 2 is 88 into 11 so 11 is the 88 8 carry 11 is the 88 centimeter square this is inner curved surface area outer curved surface area sco it will be 2 pi r outer into h that is 2 into 22 upon 7 into r outer is 2.2 centimeter 2.2 into 77 now here 7 11 is 77, 2 into 22 is 44 into 2.2 2 
into 11. Now when I multiply by 22, 22 for the 88, 8, 22 for the 88, 88 plus 8, 88 plus 8 is 96 into 11. This is 96.8 into 11, 11 is the 88. 11 6 are 66 66 uh, plus 8 so 66 plus 470 74 7 11 9 is 99 99 plus 7 106 so 1064.8 centimeter square our inner surface area is 968 outer surface area is 10 64.8 now total surface area s total s total will be curved surface area inner plus curved surface area outer plus pi 2 pi i will say 2 pi r outer square minus r inner square you understood what i have done this part means in, when, when we can see from the side in total surface area you will find inner surface area outer surface area also you will find this cross section area okay better you take a pipe okay in front of you and see how the different areas are present there okay so two times one on this side and one on this side so that i am adding here this we can find by pi r square minus pi r square means pi capital r square minus pi small r square outer radius we take then we subtract the inner one so this inside curved surface area is 968 plus outside curved surface area is 1064.8 plus 2 into 22 upon 7 into this outer radius is 2.2 square minus this is 2 square right so this i will add this is 8 8 plus 4 12 then 6 plus 6 12 1 13 1 9 plus 1 10 and this is 2 so 2032.8 plus this is 44 divided by 7 multiplied by here i will say 2.2 plus 2 into 2.2 minus 2 okay a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b so this becomes 2032.8 plus 44 divided by 7 into 2.2 plus 2 is 4.2 into this is 0 0.2 now 7 6 are 7 6 are 42 so 0 0.6 now this is 2032.8 plus this 44 to the 88 multiplied by 0 0.6 so this is 2032.8 plus 6 8 the 48 4 6 8 the 48 48 plus 4 is 52 so this is 5.28 now this is 8 8 plus 2 10 then 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 2 8 and then here we have 302 2038.08 now dimensions are in centimeters so this is centimeter square okay you have to calculate yourself it may possible that at some places i do some calculation mistakes it is all about human errors in calculations now fourth problem the diameter of a roller is 84 centimeter and its length is 120 centimeter it take 500 complete revolution to move one over a level playground find the area of the playground in meter square now i have again a roller you can see this on the cricket playground okay we roll the ruler on the field so this is our field 
and uh, on this field i am rolling this roller so how many revolutions i am doing 500 revolution when i do one revolution on this playground it will cover a uh, area which is equal to circumference of this cylinder means this area will be equal to 2 pi r h 2 pi r h this is h this is radius this is in one revolution so like that i have 500 revolution so in solution in solution if i see what is given so given uh, diameter is given diameter diameter is 84 centimeter is equals to um, so radius is equals to 42 centimeter then length is given means height is given height is 120 centimeter and then number of revolutions are given 500 revolution okay i have to find the area of the playground in meter square so um, given to find area of playground ruled by ruler n 500 revolution okay so here i will find as we discuss the concept curved surface area sc is 2 pi r h is equal to 2 into 22 divided by 7 into r is radius we got 42 into h is 120 7 6 r so this is 2 into 22 44 into 6 so let us keep it it as it is 2 into 22 into 6 into 120 okay this is curved surface area so therefore area of playground area of playground rolled in 500 revolution is equals to 500 into 2 into 22 into 6 into 120 so 500 into 2000 1000 into 6 is 6000 so better i will say 6000 multiplied by 22 multiplied by 120 12 sigma 72 so this is 72 four zeros into 22 it is equal to when I multiply this 72 by 22, I will get 2 to the 4, 2 7 the 14, then again 144. So this is 4, 8, 5, 1. So it is 1, 5, 8, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, this much centimeter square. So better to convert it in meter square, it will be 1584 meter square. This is the required area. Area is 1584 meter square. Fifth problem, a cylindrical pillar is 50 centimeter in diameter. So diameter is given 50 centimeter and 3.5 height. So diameter is given so from this radius is 25 centimeter height uh, we can convert it in meter 0.25 meter height is 3.5 meter find the cost of painting the curved surface of the pillar at a rate of rupees uh, 12.5 so rate is given 12.5 per meter square rupees 12.5 per meter square this is rate and we have to find to find 
total cost total cost okay so here we have to paint the curved surface so sc is equals to 2 pi rh is equals to 2 into 22 divided by 7 into 25 sorry 0 0.25 into h is 3.5 7 5 are 35, so this is 0 0.5. 2 into 0 0.5 is 1. So this is 22 into 0 0.25. 22 into 0 0.25. Uh, this is curved surface area n meter square. Now total cost. Total cost is rate into curved surface area. Curved surface area. So rate is 12.5 into curved surface area is 22 into 0 0.25. Is it correct? Just check. 2 pi r h. 7 5 down this cancel 25 into okay so this is all perfectly all right now 22 FISA 22 FISA or let us do a rough calculation here 12.5 into 22 2 FISA 10 2 to the 4 1 5 2 1 the 2 then here 250 0 5 5 plus 2 7 2 so this is 275 so here we have 275 into 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 is 1 upon 4 we can write 1 upon 4 then divide by 4 4 5 the, um, 4 6 the, 4 6 the, 24 then 3 35 4 8 the, 32 32, 3, 30 again, 4, 7, 28, plus 2, 20, 4, 5, the total cost is 68.75 piece, 275 divided by 1 by 4, 12.5, okay, 68.75, rupees is the total cost. Sixth question, a uh, curved surface area of right circular cylinder is 4.4. So curved surface area is given. Solution given SC is 4.4 meter square. If the radius of the base is and radius is given 0 0.7 meter, we have to find h height solution so here curved surface area sc is equals to 2 pi rh so therefore 2 into pi is 22 upon 7 into r is 0 0.7 into h is equals to the value of curved surface area is 4.4 so therefore this will cancel it will be 0 0.1 so this is 4.4 into h is equals to 4.4 so therefore h is equals to 4.4 divided by 4.4 is 1 so the dimensions are in meter so the height what is we have to find height so therefore required height is 1 meter required height is 1 meter 6 problem Seventh, the inner diameter of the circular well is 3.5 meter. It is 10 meter deep. Find its inner curved surface area. The cost of plastering the curved surface area at a rate of rupees 40 per meter square. The inner diameter of circular well. So, given inner diameter. So, di I will say inner diameter of the circular well is 3.5 meter. It is 10 meter deep height is 10 meter find its inner curved surface area 
to find SCI inner coat surface area and the cost of uh, plastering the coat surface area at a rate of rupees forty and uh, total cost. <coughs> total cost here rate is given. Rate is rupees forty per meter square. Total cost we have to calculate. So here first uh, curved surface area. Now diameter is given. So from here I will say that radius is three point five divided by two. Okay, no need to convert. We will see in calculation. So here curved surface area SC I. Is equals to two pi r i into h is equals to two into twenty two upon seven into r i is three point five divided by two into h is ten. So this two two cancels seven pi sir. Now zero point five into ten is five and twenty two into five so five to the ten five to the ten one eleven so hundred and ten. Curved surface area is hundred and ten. Now units are in meter, so hundred and ten meter square. And second, what we have to calculate total cost. So total cost, total cost is rate into area. Rate is rupees forty. And to area is hundred and ten, so zero zero four one the four four one the four. So this is my total cost. In a hot water heating system, there is a cylindrical pipe of length twenty eight meter and a diameter five centimeter. Find the total radiating surface of the cylinder. So total radiating surface that means curved surface area we need to find from the curved surface area it is going to radiate. So again. Um, length is given means height is given. Height is twenty-eight meter. Diameter is given five centimeter. That is radius is two point five centimeter. Is equals to two point five into ten power minus two meter. Find the total radiating surface in the system. So actually, they haven't asked me to find it in meter or centimeter. So it is our choice now. Uh, SC is the formula is two pi R H. Actually, this is question mark. Now we write the formula. SC is two pi R H. That is two into twenty two upon seven into R radius is two point five into ten power minus two into H. H is twenty eight. Seven fours are twenty eight. Now. Two point five into four is ten. So this is two into twenty two is forty four. Into ten into ten power minus one is ten power minus one. Ten power minus one that means divide by ten. So it is four point four meter square. So this is total radiating surface. Therefore, find the total radiating surface in the system. Therefore, I will say, therefore total radiating. Um, surface total radiating surface A is equal to four point four meter square. Ninth question: Find the lateral and curved surface area of a closed cylindrical petrol storage tank that is four point two meter in diameter and four point five meter height. Find so two things. How much steel is actually used? If okay, so problem is given in two part. Uh, the lateral or the curved surface area of the closed cylindrical petrol storage tank that is four point two meter in diameter. So diameter is four point two meter, and height is four point five meter. So radius will become two point one meter. Okay, we have to find first. We have to find um, the lateral or the curved surface area of the closed cylindrical petrol tank. So SC, SC is two pi R H is two into twenty two upon seven 
into 2.1 into 4.5 so 7 ones are 7 3 are 21 this is 88 into 0 0.3 into 4.5 now 4.5 you can write 9 upon 2 okay it is easy to multiply by 9 so this is actually this 88 i will write 44 into 2 into 0 0.3 into 4.5 so this 2 and 4.5 will become 9 44 into 3 is 3 for the 12 3 for the 12 1 13 so it becomes 13.2 into it become 9 and then 9 to the 18 9 3 the 27 27 plus 1 28 2 9 1 the 9 9 plus 2 11 so it is 118.8 this is curved surface area in meter square 118.8 meter square okay second part is how much steel <coughs> was actually used if 1 12th of the steel actually used actually used was wasted in making the tank okay so let for second part i will say let the actual used steel is let the actual used steel is x meter square so therefore x minus 1 upon 12 of x is 118.8 right because 1 upon 12th of the actual area is wasted so after removing this 1 upon 12th part i will get the area which is actually required 118.8 so uh, this uh, is 11 upon 12 x is equals to 118.8 now these are calculations now i hope you know these calculations if you find difficult then i better ask you to uh, go through your six seven standard books where you find these fraction calculations and then come again x is equals to then 12 upon 11 multiplied by 188.8 now this 11 on the 11 then 0 I cannot divide 8 then 88 11 8 by 88 so 10.8 into 12 now 12 8 is a 96 12 in the 12 so 129.6 this is the actual 129.6 the actual area of steel required how much steel was actually used so here this much meter square so therefore area of steel actually used is equals to 129.6 meter square Tenth question in figure number 13.12 you see a frame of lampshade it is to be covered with a decorative cloth the frame has a base diameter 20 and the height 30 uh, so base diameter so let us write diameter is given 20 centimeter that is this gives me radius as 10 centimeter simple height is given 30 centimeter if the margin of 2.5 centimeter is to be given for folding it over to top and the bottom okay the top and the bottom so margin margin is given so i will say that the total height which is required is h plus 2 times 2.5 that is 35 centimeter okay as you are going to use 2.5 centimeter at top as a margin so that length will add to the height from top and similarly 2.5 centimeter will add from the bottom therefore i have taken total height as 35 centimeter now um, find how much cloth is required to covering the lens so skirt surface area is generally asked sc is question mark now what is the formula for sc 
s is 2 pi r h is equals to I will use capital H so 2 pi is 22 upon 7 r is 10 and h is 35 7 pi is a 35 2 into 22 is 44 10 into 5 50 44 into 50 and this is 0 5 for the 20 2 5 for the 20 plus 2 22 this much centimeter square so 2200 centimeter square is the required area how much cloth is required for covering the lamp shade so therefore therefore i will say that 2200 0, 0 centimeter square cloth is required to cover lamp shade and here is the last question the students of um, the vidyalaya were of a vidyalaya were asked to participate in a competition for making the decorative pen holders in the shape of cylinder with the base using cardboard each pen holder is to, to be of radius the so radius is given 3 cm height is given 10.5 cm the vidyalaya was supplying the competitors with the cardboard if there were 35 competitors so n number of competitors is 35 how much cardboard was required to be bought for the competition so now area of one so cardboard we have to make the pen holder the pen holder will be something like this okay so we have to add this base area right we have to add this base area and curved surface area so i will say that area of area of one pen holder is equals to 2 pi r h plus pi r square so pi r i can take common and here it is 2 h plus r so this is 22 upon 7 into radius is 3 into 2 h so this will become mm -hmm. okay this is n okay it looks like h so this is n right so 10.5 into 2 2 h okay so 10.5 into 2 21 21 plus this is 21 plus 3 radius is 3 okay so this is 22 into 3 is 66 i will write 66 multiplied by now this is 24 okay 20, 66 divided by 7 into 24 we cannot cancel 7 with 24 now there are 35 students so therefore I am not calculating here. Uh, total cardboard required is total cardboard is n into area. That is n is 35 into area is 66 divided by 7 into 24. Now 7 pi is 35 5 for the 20. 5 to the 10 plus 2 12 multiplied by 66 so this 0 i will write here 12 6 the 72 7 12 6 the 72 72 plus 7 is 79 so total cardboard is this much now what is the unit everything is centimeter so this much centimeter square therefore total cardboard required is 7920 centimeter square now one thing you have to see that how i am doing the calculations that most of the calculations i am doing at the last 
So the advantage is that most of the things I am able to cancel out, right? So I think this is a better practice, right? And uh, this whole topic is very, very simple. Only you should know the basic calculation part that is multiplication, division, right? Okay. So thank you for this lecture. In the next class, we will see the next exercise. Thank you.